Hello. Hello and good morning. How are you doing, Jackie? Good. How are you? Absolutely fantastic. I love your story. And the reason why is because I was that guy, because I know something absolutely (laughs) phenomenal is going to happen to those who have the gift. Oh, (laughs) That's very true. But this this time around on the brand new album, you're exploring a new genre of music. Please tell me because I really want to know what's going on. So I'm, I guess after COVID, I realized that um, I really haven't explored much about different genres or about my own voice and what it's capable of. And The Masked Singer, when I was on it, it was just before COVID, and I kind of revealed to myself that I have this cool pop sound. Yep. And I'd also been songwriting. And so after COVID, I just decided that I was going to dive into this new world. What do I have to lose? Um, I wanted to be more authentic to myself and just really live my career and my life to the fullest that I possibly could. So I've been exploring these genres. And it's funny because there's not really a specific genre. Actually, when I started doing this, they didn't know what to put it in. Was it pop? Was it alt rock? Was it alt indie? Yep. So, you know, I'm just doing whatever feels right. <laughs> but see, that's the, that's the greatest thing about this generation of sound is that we don't have to try to sound like the Beatles. We, we've got everything here with, with the EDM and with whatever you want to call it. I, I still want to call it Americana 2024 style. Oh, yeah. That's a great way to put it. You wrote the songs. To build a song, that's always been one of my, my my greatest explorations, and you can blame all that on Casey Kasem and even Ryan Seacrest. I love the stories mm-hmm. behind building the music. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I think that's one of the best parts about songwriting is it's like a go, it's a do-it-as-you-go thing for me at least, and um, I just pull from an honest, honest place with the lyrics, and a lot of the times the melodies follow or vice versa and it just kind of comes out i've written songs like smoking gun on the ep i wrote within an hour and you know the rest of it was just building a track to it yeah it just kind of flows so are, <laughs> are you the one that's on, behind that control board then when you say building that track it's me but it's also um the producer that i've worked with it's greg camp his name is greg camp he's amazing um he was a part of smash mouth one oh. of the uh first members of the group Smash Mouth, and now he's in his own group called The Defiant. So we're both kind of doing the same thing at the same time. And I love Greg because we have this weird connection where we can visualize the same exact thing. And I've never had that before with anybody. So uh, it's really great to work with him. When you're visualizing that song, are you thinking of the listener? Because in the radio world, that's exactly what we are trained to do, to figure out who is receiving this, what are they going to do with it, and how can we grow it forward? I do like to listen to, uh, or I take the listener into consideration, definitely. But I also, it's a weird balance between taking that into consideration, but also taking my truth and uh, what's coming to my mind into consideration because the goal for me is to not be doing um, necessarily what is only on the radio. Yeah. Uh, I want to I want to do new things, but also have people relate to it enough to listen. <laughs> No, I totally get that because, you know, I got to, you know, I'm not a big fan of listening to things on the radio, but you put, you put me in front of Spotify, iHeartRadio, or even Alexa, and I, I want everything. I want all six of your songs and I want to have them back to back, just, just like the old album days. Yeah, no, I'm the same exact way, actually. Um, I think that's one of the best ways to explore music these days. Your lyrics are really spot on, but I've got to ask you as a creative person, how are you able to bear your soul? Because, I mean, the editing process has got to be, oh, my God, you know, you, are you a perfectionist? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm very much a perfectionist. <laughs> yeah. But uh, not with the lyrics. As I'm writing them, I do sit with them for a while if they don't just come right away. And um, it's kind of like an intuition thing. If it's not hitting it on the nose for me, I'll sit there and I will deep dive a dictionary to make sure I can hit it on the nose. Yep. Um, but for me, it's so honest or it's so easy to be honest because I've always been a very open person one-on-one with people. If they ask me anything, I will be honest and open about it. And um, I guess as I journey into being my authentic self, I want to feel like 
when I'm doing a show or an interview, even I want it to feel like I'm one-on-one -on -one yep. with the person watching it in the moment. Yeah. So that's the goal here. <laughs> question from one creative person to another creative person, especially when I see what, what, what you've gone through, even by the age of uh, under 30. At 25, I was up to replace Casey Kasem on American Top 40. That changed my entire outlook on the broadcasting industry. You were in Forbes magazine wow. as one of the 30 under 30. How is this changing your life as a creative person? Um, I think it's opening huge doors for me to explore the world more explore myself more and to develop an even closer relationship with my fans which is so fulfilling um because my career is my life and i can't just sit there and live that as a 10 year old when i'm 24. um so becoming more my authentic self through my music right now it's making my career that much more enjoyable as well yeah. and i've always loved it but now it's like super super fun and like it's coming to me like breathing at this point it's wonderful yeah do you think the reason why behind my eyes is a song that i continuously listen to is because you've got that classical background that you understand how to get to the rhythm of my heart <laughs> i don't know i i mean that's it i think that's a, a question you would have to answer but i will say that uh, i think that the classical background that i have and the fact that i started so young yeah I do have an insane, not to pat myself on the back, but an insane amount of control over my voice. And so um, it's easier for me to sort of interpret what I'm really hearing in my head vocally when I'm doing these songs. And Behind My Eyes is fun because there is that classical element to it in the chorus especially. Um, but I think it's one of the first times I've attempted to do that and it actually works so wow so making that transition from being a young musician into being an adult musician i mean it was detroit rock city from kiss that changed me in in a huge way in, into adulthood what was the song or something that said hey look uh, i'm not little jackie anymore i don't know if it was necessarily a song i mean you could say behind my eyes was the song um also get out of my life uh when i wrote that it was at the beginning of my songwriting stuff and so um, that one, I would say, changed it a lot for me, too. But I, I genuinely think during COVID is when I said I'm going to be the adult Jackie that people who know me personally know. And I think it's because there was a lot of stuff that happened during COVID that broke me down, as I think everyone's experienced. And at that point, I was just like, why not? live my life to the fullest i think i let fear cover me yep, yep. or block me from a lot of stuff yep yep i gotta plan something in the yeah. universe jackie i want you to meet Joni mitchell i really do because i really think that you and Joni would have a really good one-on-one -on -one. i would love that and i came so close but um she did two years ago the music cares and i was supposed to go but it fell through and i'm really bummed about it but I know that it will happen in the future. I have a feeling. Good. What is your website so people can come and give you some love? And if you've got merchandise, it's time to sell that stuff. Yeah, I know. Um, the website is JackieVanko.com. And then, you know, social media, it's official Jackie Vanko or just Jackie Ivanko. Um, and you can listen to the EP on any of the streaming platforms that you prefer to listen to. Uh, and with merch, that's on the website as well. And keep an eye out for some new stuff because... Now that I'm showing my artwork as well, because I paint and draw and all that, there's going to be some cool stuff on there. <laughs> I love it. Please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for you. Thank you. Will you be brilliant today, okay, Jackie? All right, you too. <laughs>